Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Aurore. Join us as we discover female skaters in Mexico. We picked up an ethically cheap flight, £260 one way arriving into Cancun. And then we took a bus to get a fuck out of Cancun. Justin, Weber! But I gotta keep an eye out for Selena. Playa del Carmen has a range of Caribbean style beaches ah! with friendly Coati, a relative of the raccoon. <laughs> the nightlife here wasn't really for us, and we also weren't impressed with some of the Tiger King shit that was going down in the local bars and clubs. It wasn't long before we found our first skate spot, this stairway under a bridge that required some cleaning. Whilst we were there, the monster truck turned up, and this is because local skate brand Toxina Skate Co. were on tour and decided to hold their event here. We only came across one girl skater at this event, and her name was Lisa Gomez. She was rad, but she basically told us that if we wanted to find more girl skaters, then we should head to a nearby city called Merida. That was really sick. That was so sick. In order to get to Merida, we joined up with my best friend that travelled from the USA. They were happy to drive, so we rented a car. This office definitely tried to scam us. The great thing about driving to Merida is it took us past the world famous Chichen Itza site. Or as I like to call it, Chicken Pizza. Chicken Pizza! We are on our way to a skate park in Merida called Pasa Verde, where a few girls are meeting up tonight. Because all the girls there are getting together and everything, so I just decided to come here. I'm starting to do like surf skating, so I'm practicing like in a like ramps that don't run really high. So. They told me there is this these girls 
eh, Paola. Paola, 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 Paola. Mi nombre es Paola, Andrea Paola Paz. ¿Por qué quisiste empezar como a hacer una comunidad de chicas de Martina? Porque realmente no había una comunidad, todas estaban por separado y creo que juntar a todas en un en un lugar y que todas se emocionen por lo mismo, que les apasione el skate, es lo chido. Y por eso se armó. Con el skate y cómo juntarse. Y con la comunidad, ok. Pues muy complicada porque principalmente vivimos en diferentes zonas y juntarnos entre todas es muy difícil por el tiempo, por las situaciones, el estudio, el trabajo. Y pues yeah, por yeah. fin nos pudimos juntar y armar algo. es que se expanda la comunidad de chicas skaters, que rompamos estereotipos, que demostremos que también las chicas podemos y que a la larga podemos crear algo bien cool, que al menos no hayan solo chicos, que hayan chicas igual en el parque. She works in the pet shop. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. The pet shop. And the girl in the car. The yeah. in the car. Baby! The rat just touched it. He was like, No, I say, He really wants one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, And just like that, it was time to leave Merida. Although sad to leave, Merida was just the start of our adventures. We took the bus inland into the state of Chiapas to visit another Mayan site, the mighty temples of Palenque. Sadly, the weather was not on our side. Hmm? It's raining. From Palenque, we took a taxi to the stunning Agua Azul waterfalls. Now this place is amazing, but we just about survived one night here. We didn't know this, but there are loads of one-star reviews on TripAdvisor. From warning you about ticket scams, to locals holding you hostage until you buy something, to people literally getting shot and robbed. Our biggest problem turned out to be that the nearest ATM was hours away and we had no money left. If you're thinking about visiting here, do be careful but it is beautiful and definitely worth visiting just to go swimming. Coming up, we head to Tusla in search of more skater girls. We go on adventures with the owner of the local skate shop. And I get to star in my very first Mexican music video.